Brethren, I once again greet you all well, and in doing so acknowledge that we have now moved from lockdown level 4 to level 3, and congratulate everybody for doing their bit to make this happen. I certainly know that it's been a trying time for all concerned, as we have lived within our bubbles and the restrictions that we have all had imposed upon us. I'm sure that we'll look back in many years to come and say it was well worthwhile. Brethren, on the 11th of May, the government will announce as to whether or not we continue at Level 3 or move to Level 2, and what restrictions may apply should we move to the next level. I'm confident as Grand Master that if we reach Level 2, that we will reopen our lodges from the 1st of June. I will wait until I know what limitations or restrictions are announced, and then issue guidelines to all the lodges to follow but I can assure you that those guidelines focus on the health, safety and well-being of our brethren, the usages, customs and practices of Freemasonry and the landmarks of ancient free and accepted Masons. As soon as I can, that will be issued. I'm also very much aware that a number of lodges have not been able to conduct their annual installation ceremony. The Divisional Grand Masters will be connecting with the District Grand Masters to get those back on track, and I will be issuing dispensation authority to the Divisional Grand Masters to manage that process uh, as quickly as possible. Each lodge is slightly different, so I'm asking that each lodge have a bit of a think about what their needs are and how they want to proceed, and discuss that with the District Grand Master. In some cases, it's a Master continuing in the Chair for a second term. In some cases, it's a past Master going back into the Chair, and in some cases, it's a Master Mason attaining the chair for the first time. So each need is slightly different. So please have a think about it so you can discuss that with your district Grand Master. I want to also now talk quickly talk about the Freemasons Live question and answer session that we did uh, over a week ago, which was extremely well received. But this time focus on our recent one, which was the Anzac Commemoration Ceremony on April 25th. Brethren, that has been watched by over 10,000 people worldwide. Many of our brethren in New Zealand joined us for that, and I thank you for that. Many of our brethren who live overseas also joined us, and I thank you for that. But also many of our fraternal brothers in other constitutions and jurisdictions also took part and watched our ceremony. It was extremely well received, and I thank everybody for committing to it. I'd also take this opportunity to remind everybody that we did this also as a process of raising funds for the RSA because this year they were unable to conduct their annual Poppy Day. That's their annual appeal where they raise for the welfare of their veterans. So brethren, go to the Grand Lodge website, take note of the details there and make a personal contribution or a contribution from your lodge to support the veterans of the Returned and Services Association of New Zealand. Brethren, it's very, very important. Finally, brethren, I'd like to talk about the welfare of our own brethren. Brethren, the Freemasons charity is there to be used. If you know of anyone or if you yourself are suffering from hardship, please talk to your charity officer. Freemasons charity has been around for a long time and is there to assist in any way that it can. Brethren, do not be afraid to ask for help. It is important and if we know about it, brethren, we are there to assist. The Freemasons charity is yours. Please use it. Brethren, these videos have been well received and it's been a pleasure to make them, albeit sometimes challenging. But the next one, I hope, will be a one that we can actually talk about what Freemasonry is going to look like post 1st of June. Brethren, thank you for your contribution and I look forward to Freemasonry back in the Lodge Room as soon as possible. Thank you.